getting a ribeye ready for the morning today. I gotta be at work very early this morning. I gotta leave here by seven. So since I gotta do a, a lunch date today at a Thai restaurant, I wanna be sure I'm full before I go. Uh, I won't have any trouble getting through the day like I did in the past. The fasting I've been doing over the past few months has really, really made a difference in my ability to not need to eat in social situations. Uh, in this case, it's a business situation, but it's a business social type of thing. Just trying to get all these exercises done before I gotta hit the road. So while I wait for this to finish up, just wanna go through real quick. The, this morning, you know, I got up at 4.30 like I normally do and got my push-ups in. And it started off like most other days where I don't feel like doing it first thing in the morning and I, I got 21 push-ups to start with. And then I took a about a 10, 12 minute break and took, a, well not 12 minute break, but 12 minutes between starting to starting. And the next set I did 30. And I was surprised because normally I don't start getting in the gear that fast. And then I got another 27 and then another 25 and then 28. And then the last set I did 20. And then all those sets I did five sets of, or five, uh, Superman stretches at the end except for the last set which I did 10 and uh, Then I got some curls out of the way. I started with the 25 pound dumbbells I uh, realized that the metal on those dumbbells when it's 36 degrees outside is really cold. So I got my gloves on <laughs> This is not Florida weather. I some of you I saw somebody comment already this morning on yesterday's video making fun of it being cold down here. It was 46 degrees yesterday in the morning. This morning it's 36 degrees. This is not normal October Florida. The North Pole is spitting out <laughs> uh, cold blasts and they're getting all the way down here. Believe me, it's plenty cold. But uh, then I wrapped that up with a few pull-ups, did a little dead hang for about 30 seconds and then I did a few more pull-ups. So I'm feeling good, feeling real good, loving how this is really making a difference in this area, focusing on these push-ups like this and, and pushing myself a little harder than even I did when I started doing the push-up challenge way back this summer. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is gonna work out for my 50th birthday. And just to remind you what I've been doing is I'm counting down to my 50th birthday, which is November the 7th, and it kind of works out good because the day before is a Sunday and that'll give me a good break day before I try to see how many push-ups I can do on my birthday. My goal is to at least hit a thousand. Uh, and again, I don't know if I'm overshooting or undershooting, but I'm going to get it. And if I can get more, I'll get more. But uh, I've never done a thousand in one day before. Heck, I don't think I've done 150 in one day very before doing this diet and I started doing 150 a day a long time ago. Now back then I was doing them wrong. I was doing a wide stance and it was a lot easier. Now that I've gotten to where I'm pulling my elbows in and doing an all the way down type of pull up, uh, push up and then pushing up to almost fully locked, not quite, but close. It's really, uh, it makes the push, push ups harder. So the numbers I'm getting are the better form push ups. And I know sometimes I might use pull up and push up interchangeably by accident because my my, my tongue gets wrapped around my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what my pastor always says when he trips over a word or two. Let's see how we look here. About 130 degrees. Nice medium rare. That'll do. Well, I'm going to get this steak in me and I'm going to hit the road. So it's a short one today, but I appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?